Hi everyone, I wanted to firstly say that this video is sponsored by Squarespace and then I want to thank you all so much for having supported them so well, that's why we keep going. Um, but yeah, let's get into the video and I'll talk about them very soon. Hello! I have a little bit of a different video. Wait, can we start again? Sorry, because I was looking down. I look like somebody's grandma, that's what I look like. Welcome everyone, today I'm excited because I'm joined by Steve and Yesa and we thought about doing a really really fun game, I hope you guys are ready, it's gonna be something a little bit different than we usually do. Um, and I kind of wanted to sit down, and this is a fun way for you guys to get to know all of us a little bit better, but I guess in this video, me. So I thought it'd be a fun idea if I would challenge both of them. Yes, who knows me really well, and obviously so does Stevie's my twin brother. Yeah, but I wasn't in the stomach for like, I don't know how long. Well, it's not fair this game. We weren't talking, sure it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like we were in the stomach, like, what's your favorite color? <laughs> yeah, but if you so, go after the stomach, you still live together for so long. Oh, okay, we'll see. We'll we see. We, yeah. So the game is pretty simple. I'm gonna ask them both a question, uh, and then they both have to write down their answer on a little piece of paper, and then they're gonna have to hold it up at the end, and we're gonna see who's right. And so this game will uh, let me know which one of them knows me better. Can I have the uh, orange? I... Who wants what? I'm gonna say a question. You have to try not to look at each other's answers and like well, copy each other. Yeah, yes, sir. Um, and then I'm gonna make them everything. I'm gonna make them life related. I'm gonna make them um, work course related. related. A little bit of everything, so it's fair for everyone. Yeah, work related, career, a little bit of everything. First two questions are: What is my favorite color and my favorite number? We're gonna go super easy to begin with, but just to make sure that you guys understand how we're doing it and they know what we're doing it. Okay, Steve, what did you write? Red two. Red and two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. And that's correct. Red and the number two is my favorite color. What? I Wait. Know. <laughs> <laughs> the red is my favorite color and number two is my favorite number. Uh, yes, sir. What did I you I have put? the same, of course. Wait, you're holding it the wrong way. <laughs> I'm not. You are. Because this is what <laughs> <It's okay>. I wrote this. <laughs> okay. One, one. I have one point at least. Okay, no, but it didn't start yet because it was a test. Yeah, no, you didn't say that. Okay, okay, let's go ah. to the next one. Okay, how old was I when I started writing? You should know because you were there. And you should know this because you know. This is an age that changes know. every year with <laughs> this conversation. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> okay. Let's see what, let's see what they say. I think you guys know because I've mentioned it a few times on my how videos. How long can you take to write a number? Okay, show the camera. Oh no. Put it in you front. You looked at mine. Five. Five. I have eight. I was... Okay, why are you making them so small? <laughs> yes, we've been through this. Just do, you can take the whole paper. Why are you going like on the corner? I had eight. It's eight. Yes, is right. It's eight. You were there! I was this there. <laughs> this is the thing. This is the Did thing. Did you also still not talk when you were eight? My brother started oh. writing, but but Steve well. started writing when I started writing, yeah, and, and we're twins. So how do you not know? I thought I was five. Yeah, four, five, three. We very, were eight. I had a very busy childhood. Okay, <laughs> so it's one zero. Which city was I born in? I know this one. No, but I just. Right, big. I'm yes, not so. from it Italy. <laughs> it's it is a town in Italy. Um, like oh that. my god, I'm impressed. Show them. Brescia. Yeah, they're both oh, correct. Oh, you even spelled it right. I'm impressed. That's that's very impressive. I know. I do like notice a thing or two. I do listen. Okay. Next question. Am I more like my Italian side of my family or am I more like the German side of my family? Which one? But who decides this ends? Me. Because I know. Okay, let's see. 
It's Alan, okay, you both got it right. I okay. mean, that one was kind of easy. Only though. the loudness of the speaking. <laughs> <laughs> they always, with they, in our family, they, everyone always said that Steve represented the German side of the family and I represented the really? Italian side yeah. of the family. Yeah, yeah, yeah Because he looks like my dad and I, well, I don't look like anyone. But you're also really dark. <laughs> you look like a grandfather. Okay, really good stuff for you to go. You've overstayed your uh, welcome by mm, about seven months. <laughs> oh, is your grandfather not nice? Well, he's 86. Okay, next question. How old was I when I had my first kiss? Like my first real, not real kiss, but like, like proper one. Do you know? Let's see. Oh no, I think I was wrong. I think I know the answer. No, you're right. I was 15. Oh. What? I was 15. Four. <laughs> you can't say that. Oh. You can't even say that. No, you were right. What did you think? Younger. No, I thought R17. No, 15. Oh. What was the first score I ever got on my first ever dressage test? How do these scores even work? Yeah. You don't know it? No idea. The next question. Okay, guess. No, but like, is what it percentage? Is it, is it points? Percentage, percentage. You don't know, really. How can I know? With Peter, my I had a like a lease horse, and the first competition I did actually went pretty well, considering he was 27. Um, oh, come on. What? Oh, nothing. Do you have that too? Go, show it. 68, it was 68. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, oh, how did see? <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressed that you were kind of close though, considering you know nothing about like dressing. No. Okay, um, you, this is a but did you remember <laughs> or you didn't know? I thought so. Oh, okay. See, the, some people know these questions. Wow. Okay. Um, I have had everything right for now. Okay, uh, uh, next question. Apart from... No, no, this one will go wrong probably. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from horse riding, when I was at school, which other sports did I do? You just have to list one. So it could be, I did a few, so it could be one. You knew, you should know, you were there. Okay, hold them up. What is yours, Yasser? Tennis. And gymnastics. Okay, they're both correct. Impressive. Okay, you both get a point. Thanks. Thanks. So when my parents, well, when my mom was pregnant and my parents were both expecting, um, they initially thought they were gonna have two girls rather than two guys, um, and they already had named us. So what was uh, both of yeah, the names that they had decided Steve and I were gonna be called? You know this, I think. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Steve has gone into private. A private setting to do this quietly. Yeah, but he knows that because it's about him. <laughs> yeah, but there's gonna be questions, you know, because they are closer to you. <sighs> well, one that is just too far off, <laughs> but it's just because it looks like Steve's name. Okay, so yeah, so show yours. First. One is Stephanie. Show yours. And Tiffany. Tiffany and Stephanie, that's it's right. right. Yeah, it's <laughs> correct. I actually did it as a wow. joke. But you knew <laughs> Tiffany. Yes, but not Stephanie. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Because I thought Steve sounds like Stephanie. I'm very impressed. Really? Is yeah. that why yeah. you call, was it also going to be Steve? Oh, yeah, I don't know. Don't know. Okay, next question. Um, I got scouted at 17, and the week after I got scouted, I did my very first job. Who was this job for? Wait one second, I know it. <laughs> Time. But I need to know what it's called. Because can I also explain it? No, you can just you have to just write it. Yeah, in. but it's that video. <laughs> <laughs> can I look at the video up? No! Yeah, but I don't know the name. One second. Dolly? No. Ma you played psych, you can't say. <laughs> right? Something like that. You have to write something down. I know, but. You just have to write something down. Okay, you can both show your answers and say it. Dolly Magazine. Dolly Magazine, good, you both got it right. Wow, I'm impressed. Impressive. Not so impressed. Um, <laughs> they're like, <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, okay, in my career whilst modeling, I had one specific moment that really got me emotional when I saw uh, the campaign that had been released. 
Which campaign was this and where was it shown? I wonder if you actually know the story. Are you ready? I don't know anything about... I don't know if Mother was for. Can we not just have one question? I think you know what it was for. Okay. Oh, I just guess one then. But I don't think it's right. You can do it first. American Eagle, oh, Times Square. Well, I had New York Times Square and Armani, but... No, it wasn't Armani. Right. Armani was another time! Can I get at least one point for that? What? No! We could have done the answer! And you have two points. Then. No, okay. but the thing was, I was, uh, I was actually flying back from LA, I think, going back home to Australia. And uh, one of my friends, I had internet on the plane and somebody had sent me the photo of um, my campaign I did. It was in Times Square. I can send you guys the photo. I can put the photo in here. And I remember I just started crying on the plane because I don't know, it was just kind of surreal and it uh, it was a, a crazy a thing. rewarding thing to happen in my career as well. It was, it was very cool. Okay. So I wanted to take a moment to talk about Squarespace because Squarespace is a huge website builder. Now, you don't have to have any coding knowledge. You don't need to have any expertise with building websites. Squarespace does it all for you. It presents you with hundreds of different templates that you can pick from. Uh, there's a huge range in there. Even to just start getting ideas and start getting an understanding of the look and feel you want to have for your website. That's definitely why I decided to go with Squarespace. I wanted something that already had that look and feel that I was going for without me having to build the whole thing. And then additionally on top of that I could go in and customize everything I wanted. So if there was a template that had the exact look I wanted but I wanted to make an alteration to or, or change something, I could still do that. Um, Squarespace is also amazing for me because I travel all the time I need to be able to go into the website and make changes from my phone which I'm able to do on Squarespace whether that is uh, changing the stock list or uh, changing photos, descriptions, adding stuff um, I can do that very easily if you guys are interested I do have a special code and it's www.squarespace.com slash Matt and with this you'll be able to receive 10% of your first purchase of a domain or website. What do we do? One last one that's worth yeah, 10 points. I'm going okay. I don't think so. <laughs> I feel like I should get Okay, if I'm Okay, if I'm going clubbing, what drink am I ordering at the bar? It's pretty simple. Hold it up. Ooh, I could be wrong. <laughs> I've never seen you at a club. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm laughing because I had a really big clubbing uh, moment when I was younger, and, and now I, I like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But now it's a miracle for the of the house. Okay. <clears throat> vodka lemonade. And vodka R red bull. It's vodka lemonade. <gasps> oh, really? It's vodka oh, lemonade. Oh wow, I'm so surprised. You don't know that? I don't know. I didn't even know it was a thing. I know that the first time I drank vodka was with you and you had Red Bull with it. Mm, yeah, but usually when I go clubbing out, mixing Red Bull is not great. So maybe if you have one, but like, it's not... Either way, don't drink. It's not great. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna finish this You can pick a question and you know the answer, but it's... A... Okay, the last question is gonna be... What was my very first job I ever had? It's good. No, that was the second yes, sir. The first job I ever had. <laughs> oh, it seems right. <laughs> All right. Okay, you can hold it up. What does that say? Waitress. <laughs> well, firstly, waitress is for a woman. It's waiter if you're a guy. I said dishwasher slash waiter. Yeah, the, well, yeah, I guess you're both kind of correct. The first job you I ever had- You always told me waiter. Yeah, well, it sounds better <laughs> than like washing dishes, but I did hold multiple positions in the company. <laughs> um, no, but I, the first, the first job I ever had was five minutes from my house. It was a cafe and I started washing dishes at the back and then eventually I started serving tables and I did that for six months. I remember the first day at work, I, I literally thought to myself, this is what literal hell feels like because it was so chaotic. It was so well. many people ordering and being like, oh, but I asked for no pepper. And it's like, no, you didn't ask for no pepper and pepper is on everything. 
So then you gotta bring everything back. It was just chaos. And then when they clean the dishes, they used to put all the food and everything in the sink. Yeah, so then- Oh yeah, Steve Burke, they're all- so <laughs> <laughs> By the way! I washed Steve dishes, and then once I got asked to serve, and I dropped the coffee on the lady, and they pulled me back. <laughs> He also dropped something. Me too. <laughs> the yeah. first time I ever got asked to serve, I dropped a coffee on a lady. I also did. It's because I brought. I was bringing the coffee in like this, and let's say this is the table, and it was the coffee was sitting on a plate. So when I went to put the coffee down like this on the plate, the whole cup just went, and it also fell on her bag and on her leg. Um, but <laughs> Steve also the, broke a, a very a blender. Yeah. No, the tea. The teapot. <laughs> And then they asked me to pay for it. I was only making nine dollars an hour. <laughs> really? I was gonna have to work for free for like a month. But you didn't know. No, I said quit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. At this point, it's more convenient to quit. Yeah, I was like, excuse me. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, we had a lot of fun uh, making it for you guys. Um, and potentially we can do this again in the future. If you guys have any questions you'd like me to ask them both again another time, I can definitely do a follow-up video. But for now, this is everything. Thank you all for watching, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye. 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 Bye, you guys. Didn't even put any winner in. The winner? <coughs> I think you were the winner. I think so, yeah. yeah. I think at the end you can just do like a flashing number, like ding, ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> it's you, you, yours will say loser. But what's new? I'm going. If it's a rush. <laughs>